Tomorrow we celebrate an earthly independence with fireworks and good times. Meanwhile, our interstellar neighbors will also be providing us with a little bit of a show. A penumbral lunar eclipse will come into view late tomorrow night. And while it won't be a full or partial lunar eclipse like we usually think of, if you pay attention closely you'll be able to see some of the Earth's shadow glide along the edge of the moon. Now, in a total lunar eclipse, sometimes called a blood moon, the moon falls in the Earth's umbra, which is a total direct shadow. The faint red tint is the small bit of light that's able to wrap around the Earth, causing the moon to have that ominous glow. In a partial lunar eclipse, we see the Earth's direct shadow, which makes the moon look like a bite or a chunk has been taken out. In a penumbral lunar eclipse like we'll have tomorrow, it's much more subtle. When light shines on the Earth, a direct shadow or umbra forms along with an indirect shadow which fans out and is much less discreet. This type of eclipse is much easier to follow in rural areas or if you have access to a telescope. So what do you need to know about this eclipse? Another name you may hear is the Buck Moon, that's just a full moon in July. The eclipse will start at around 10 p.m., peak at 11.30, and then end at 1 a.m. on Sunday. You want to look into the southern skies. While this won't be the most spectacular celestial event, it's a reminder that with all the craziness in the world these days, at least the universe is able to give us some consistency. And as always, happy viewing. Reporting for the Stormtrack weather team, I'm meteorologist Luke Victor.